Hey, hey. Week 13 of marathon training. We're almost halfway through. It's amazing. Today is a short, long run Saturday. We've got some, uh, I don't know, some updates. Yeah. Thanks for joining. See you in a bit. We're gonna do a little. Uh, we're gonna do a little trail running. Change up the uh, course a little bit. For like over a year and a half, we haven't had anything on the calendar for obvious reasons. Now we have two things on the calendar and it's like totally messed everything up. <laughs> October and November, it's pretty weird. Yeah. And we don't like it. So turn. So we're having to change up our long run Saturdays a bit to accommodate some of the things that we have to do. So we're coming up on, um, when, what's the next long run? How long is well, it? It's supposed to be next week, it's 15. 15 miles next week. We got a pressing engagement. So we're gonna have to move the 15. And then the 20 miler also runs into another pressing engagement. So we're gonna have to change that around. Oh, we took care of that one. Yeah, we did, right? We moved the present engagement. No, I'm talking about the wedding. That was, uh, that was, that one's taken care of too. Oh. That's the uh, 5K we signed up for on the day that we have a rehearsal for a wedding that we're involved in. All right. So we're going to have to go, it's actually a six mile day. We're going to have to get out there early, run three, run our 5K, book at home, and make it to one town over by 11 a.m. Totally doable. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be a weird day. <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah, it's weird because it's not a lot, but when you go from nothing to something. Nothing for a year and a half to something almost every weekend for the next two months. Yeah, having to check the calendar. Yeah. yeah. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Another thing, we booked a, a trip to Disneyland for November. And uh, that weekend we're there, we have a, a seven mile. It was supposed to be a six or seven mile run, yeah. yeah. It's so, not gonna be that long. So one of the things we're doing is we're uh, practicing editing and uploading video from our iPad, because uh, we're not gonna do it on a computer, obviously. So that's gonna be a new thing to figure out and try. We may practice next week. As we mentioned, today's too busy. Yeah, today's too busy, but maybe next week. And today, in addition to this one, we're meeting some friends after this, which is great. Yep. Looking forward to it. Yep. If we remember, we'll throw in some footage. Yeah, that's right. We're going for beer, so we may forget. And you have a work meeting. And one hour from now. So, kind of nuts. Kind of not digging this whole schedule yeah. on the weekends. So, we ran uh, twice this week 
not including today, doing our 30-minute uh, run interval. We ran on uh, Tuesday. Wednesday no, and Thursday. Sorry, Wednesday and Thursday. Nobody's coming. I thought I heard a cover. I did not. And uh, we're kind of tired today. Yeah. I think it's all the running. <laughs> and we started out a little later today. It's been really cool. But it's starting to warm up pretty quick today, as you can tell. I'm sure there's a beautiful shine. <laughs> Glisten. Glisten. Shimmer. <laughs> Dripping sweat. Yeah. So there it is. We just finished our short long run Saturday. We did it. Yeah, we did. We did. We and did not especially feel like it. No. No, so that's but, cool. You know, hey, <laughs> you know, you just have to get out there, right, and just keep doing it. Force yourself to do it. Almost yeah. halfway through. If you haven't, subscribe. Hit like if you like this video. Uh, notifications will let you know we're uploading every week. So stick around for a little bit. We're going to have a short recap for you. Thank you so much for joining. Oh, let's go get some water. <laughs> hey, thanks for sticking around. I did this earlier and sweat flew off my finger and hit the camera. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's no lie. <laughs> <laughs> so we finished our run. We're here. We're having some coffee. Yes. Um, it is 63 degrees, but it feels like about 80. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It doesn't it, feel it, like 63, right? No, it was it warm out there. It doesn't, yeah. Um, so... Um, you know, our plans, we talked about during the run, uh, we're having to make plans and stuff. And, and yeah. it's really kind of weird. It's I, weird. I, I don't know if it's the same for you, but, you know, we haven't really had plans for the longest time for obvious reasons. And and now just like one thing in the calendar and all of a sudden, you know, we're like having to shuffle our runs. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, um, but that's yeah. okay. I mean, you know, that that's... That's good, and and you know part of the plans were you know we, we have uh, we have reservations for uh, Disneyland in November. Uh, that's, in about fifty days. That's pretty that's pretty exciting because we haven't been anywhere. Uh, so you know that's really cool. Uh, a lot of changes there, uh, but we're looking forward to being there. Um, and then part of the plans changing, uh, you know, all of the the changes to our long run Saturdays because of things. And then we got this kind of crazy idea. And actually, one of you even asked us about it. Would we ever consider doing mm. dopey? When we're really yeah. drunk, we do. <laughs> we, yeah, we go back and forth. But we went back and forth. Actually, let me back up. I was about to say we went back and forth on running a marathon in the first place. But actually... I was dead set against running a marathon. I absolutely never wanted to run a marathon. I knew half marathon was plenty. Mm -hmm. Had no interest in doing it. And this guy's like, hey, you want to run a marathon? What if we ran the Disney marathon? I'm like, God, fine. It was fantastic. And it, yeah. it really was. It was just like... Awful and wonderful. It was so hard. If we, it, for us, if we ever had to do something the first time, doing a Disney marathon was just the best, yeah. the best thing. Because... Uh, yeah. It was just, you know, just spectacular stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, and then we did, then we got crazy and we did a challenge race at Disney, right? We did... We, uh, well, we did that before the marathon, though. Oh, that's right. We did a 10K followed by a half. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that, that seemed was, rather That daunting, was okay. But, yeah. It seemed daunting, but we did it. It was okay. So, yeah, we did the... Um, that was uh, one of the Star Wars. It was the rival, rival run. run. Yeah. Um, and then we signed up for 2020 Wine and Dine Challenge, the two-course challenge. So we were all set to do that again. Yeah. We did it virtually at home. Yeah. Um, it's different that way, but yeah. Yeah, we but we did technically yeah. run back-to-back -back, uh, races. So I don't know. We think about it, but I don't know. A marathon is just so long. A part of me just can't imagine running a half marathon the day before running a marathon. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, my watch reminds me <laughs> that the longest run I've ever run time-wise, <laughs> six hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> That's that's how long my watch tracked our like uh, marathon time six hours and forty five minutes. Uh, so standing in line for two hours for Rise of the Resistance shouldn't be a shouldn't be a problem shouldn't be a problem at all, right? I mean, we ran for six hours and forty five minutes, 
but we've listened to some people. We were listening to Sean Astin this morning. He somebody uh, oh, yeah. somebody yeah, interviewed interview him. him. Some oh yeah, some, and he's done a bunch of Disney runs and he runs a lot. And he was talking about doing the dopey run. He did the dopey run, and he's like, well, you know, if you train yeah. for a marathon, five, you can knock out a five k and a ten k or whatever. Yeah, it's just whatever. a training run. And then you you run your half marathon, and the way he phrased it was so interesting. You run your half marathon, and then it's that's like you know half of your marathon. And then you wake up the next morning, you run the other half of the marathon. So it's basically like you just ran a marathon with a sleep in the middle, <laughs> and then you have to run another half marathon. I don't know. Yeah. It's an interesting way to look at it, yeah. but whatever, it works for him. So maybe that's what we need. we just need to like break it down in different chunks and approach it that way. I don't know. The the long answer. Well, that was the long answer. Sorry about that. The short answer is, yeah, probably we'll do dopey. Sounds like we're convincing ourselves we, to do we it. We constantly try to talk ourselves into it, but then we talk ourselves out of it. Part of it is the price. Because two people, that's a lot of money. A lot of But that's, it's so, just, my God, that's, that would. We'll sleep in the car. We'll take our own food. <laughs> it's, so anyway, yeah. Um, so there's that. And, uh. What else? Well, uh, we talked a little bit about being tired. So mm -hmm. we're going to change our planning, uh, our, our oh. running plan a little bit. Uh, for short, long run Saturday, we figured the week leading up to it, we can run uh, twice that week and then run our short, long run Saturday run. Uh, but for long run Saturday, uh, we're uh, only going to run once during the week because, um, I don't know, it's just kind of tired. You know why else we're tired this week that we forgot? Huh. Four nights this week we woke up in the middle of the night to get dining reservations at Disneyland. Because they open at 3 a.m. No, yeah. midnight. We thought it was midnight. I don't yeah. know, whatever. So Some undisclosed time they open up and it's been really hard to get reservations. So if you if you're planning a trip to uh, Disneyland and, and you may um, uh, all uh, and, and I don't mean this in a, a mean way but all of the tips that you might see about how to get uh, dining reservations I'm convinced they don't exist that, yeah so after we, we, all the hours that I like different hours that I tried for yeah. certain places yeah I'm convinced they we don't got exist. up at two in the morning our time. Nothing available. We got up at three in the morning. No, four. Uh, then we tried at five, and oh, we got something. But uh, only like three restaurants. Yeah. Had so, ads. you know, and 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 uh, you know, we have to remember that the, the parks are open, mm. but their staffing is low. Yeah. So, so they're having a hard time, yeah. and, and they're trying to they're trying to figure out how to accommodate uh, not only uh, serving but also placement of people because they're still trying to do uh, safety measures. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, that was kind of tough. So yeah, that's why we're tired. Oh mm -hmm. man, you know, I, I remember the days that I could just stay up all night and then go to class the next morning and sleep during it. But I can't, <laughs> I, I can't do that now. <laughs> the boss gets upset when you do that now. <laughs> anyway, anyway that, that's our week. How's your week going? It was really great to hear from you. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing your videos, uh, more uh, running videos, and just sharing uh, our stuff. Uh, it, it's pretty exciting because we are almost halfway through. It's crazy. It is crazy. And the runs are getting longer. Uh, and as the runs get longer, uh, we're doing less and less on Saturday. <laughs> uh, we were uh, we have been baking every week from uh, an awesome uh, America's Test Kitchen uh, book of bread, and it it has been wonderful. But you know, the longer the runs, the uh, less time we have to uh, you know let uh, the bread rise and then uh, knead mm -hmm. it and then let it rise again and then you know form it and all that. So. That's kind of changed. Uh, we need to figure. We need to figure. I, I, I'm getting pretty hungry right now. Let's do this. So, thanks so much. Looking forward to more because it's always an adventure with you. <laughs>